my research focuses on is, is looking at patterns and effects of non-native species in coastal marine ecosystems, uh, essentially tracking invasions that are occurring throughout North America. What we're doing here today is we're uh, surveying the local crab population, the white-fingered mud crab, which is native to Chesapeake Bay. We're examining the prevalence of an introduced parasite, a, a rhizocephalin barnacle, that arrived in the 60s in the Chesapeake Bay from the Gulf of Mexico. The barnacle castrates the crab, and so it causes reproductive death, and some years it can be very, very prevalent. One way we've been tracking the abundance of the crab and the parasite is to put out these uh, collectors that are filled with oyster shells that essentially provide habitat for the crabs. We count and measure the crabs and we score them for the presence or absence of parasites. One of the things we've, we've begun doing this summer is to sample the local shrimp population um, in the Road River and other parts of, of Maryland waters. Um, the native shrimp is a species, Pal Palamonides um, cugio, which is one of the most abundant shrimp in the Chesapeake Bay. We score them for the presence of parasites. We measure the size of each shrimp, and then they're taken up to the lab and processed, um, essentially to look at the rostrum, which is diagnostic in being able to distinguish the native shrimp from the introduced uh, species, Palamon macrodactylus. And so that um, latter step takes a fair amount of effort to look at under the microscope. So this is a, a Chinese mitten crab that uh, began showing up in Chesapeake Bay about four years ago. One of our interests in this crab is to understand whether it's established in estuaries along the East Coast and potentially to understand what the, or to understand what the potential impact is of this crab um, should it become abundant. This is a crab that's native to Asia but it's also uh, been established in San Francisco Bay in California, and it's also established in Europe. People recognize it often as being quite different than any of the native species that we have. Um, the carapace width, or the carapace is, is quite different than say a blue crab, which is what most people would catch up in this part of the Chesapeake. So it, it's clearly different. Um, and the other thing that, that's conspicuous about this crab is you might be able to see that it has um, mittens they're seedy or sort of furry-like claws. Very few of these specimens have actually been caught by scientists doing research. Um, so that just underscores the potential value of citizen science and, and being able to um, take advantage of that to collect good information, but also as a mechanism for outreach and education.